Hello and welcome to this, the 12th episode of the Audible Anomaly podcast. On today's podcast, we're going to be talking about uh, some of our favorite TV shows. We're going to be taking another look at the film industry and uh, telling you about some plans that we have uh, for the future. We're also going to be looking at the uh, Super Street Fighter 4 tournament that I'm going to be having on the uh, 23rd of February. We're going to be looking at our favorite hardware and uh, we're just give you some advice. Stay tuned. Welcome back, uh, as always. He's Brosif. I'm Davey. And that's Kevin. Sure, we'll run with that. Why not? I like to, to do things on the fly. I, I, I don't know. Are we going back to the shrink rate conversation we're having before? Yeah, oh, I, well, or yeah, of course. On a fly? You can't do it mm-hmm. unless you're actually on a fly. Okay. That, yeah, I don't even know what to say to that. So with that... Let's... Let's just start. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our, uh, <laughs> one of our discussion topics. Um, talk about what TV shows in general. Yeah, I, I don't really know because there's a lot of good stuff out there. One of my is, favorite subjects. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Um, you know, one one specific one that I'm and I believe I don't know if, I don't know if you're caught up yet, uh, Kevin uh, Blacklist. It's on uh, was it CBS? No, NBC. It's on NBC. Um, they're on episode 14 now, I want to say. Uh, I think I only saw 13. Okay. The first one in the new I set. think this, the, the episode that just aired on Monday was 14. Okay. I'm not 100% positive. I'm checking now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they had a split season, which I thought they were, that was like the first 10 episodes I thought were actually just the end of it, but it really wasn't, I found out. Um, cause yeah, they came back uh, just after the, uh. Winter vacation and uh, the new year, I believe it was the second week. I hate split seasons. If, if you're going to do a season, just do a season, you know? This one wasn't as bad as, like, say, Walking Dead or Breaking Bad, where, you know, they waited almost a year, you know? This one was literally yeah. just a few weeks. Um, but yeah, done, they, I guess uh, to be 13. fair, they never really specified. Um, so far. As we have internet connection issue with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with uh, Acevedo there. But, uh,. Yeah, like I said, that's one we're into. Um, I don't know if you have anything to add, really. They've done 13. They've done 13. 14 is not out yet. It's out Monday, though, right? Uh, I believe it is coming out Monday. This airs on Should. Wednesdays. So, yes, it's out. No, 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 no. No, no. no it's not out. Okay. Uh, The 24th. February oh, 24th. February. Wow, okay. They're doing a split season within a split season. <laughs> Splitception. It's, it's just split further. It's still one split. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it's it's probably no. It's because of the Winter Olympics. Yeah, that that makes Winter Olympic bad. break. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Most most shows God like dang it, I was really looking forward um, to Mars episode too. Parks and Rec and Community stuff like that all going on break. Damn it! For a couple. Weeks. Screw their breaks. That's what happens. Speaking of Community. That show is fantastic. If you haven't already seen it, the writing is amazing. Uh, com- just comedy gold, really. Um, it I've watched I've watched a lot of TV. There was a moment in my life where I wasn't doing anything else, and I gotta say, Community has been one of my favorites. I've watched I've watched the entire thing like three times, and every time there's something new that I find, you know, something you know funny it's still it's still great um because the writer dan Harmon, the creator um likes to make sure that everything's recalled um it's going with that the idea that anything that is placed has a meaning it has a purpose uh so, so in movies a lot of times in dramas um if they mention something it's going to play a role later on and a lot of the times um the community you find that a lot of a lot of stuff that happens in a in a the first season you'll see in the third th- the third season kind of unfold or present itself again which is really really cool okay. um it's, yeah and parks and rack's cool too i like that show a lot yeah more straightforward but yeah it's it's a fantastic show okay yeah don't know if you have one to add in general firefly 
Firefly. Hmm. Enough said. It's a little, a little bit older one, but yeah. That's one I need to get into myself. <laughs> get in There's and then... not a whole lot to get into it. I know. I know. I Same... Probably marathon that in a day. Prob- Same thing with uh, Freaks and Geeks. That one's also one that died way too young. Mm-hmm. Fantastic show. Speaking of one that's going to die too young, Newsroom. Which I found out uh, season three is going to be their last season. Mm. Pretty sad about that. Maybe I should start watching it. Yeah, you should. It's a very well written. Uh, very witty. Um, yeah. It's about the news. It's pretty cool. I think one of my favorite episodes has to be, I want to say season one, episode mm-hmm. seven, Osama bin Remind Laden. Me. Osama bin Laden. Mm. Such a fantastic, it, it's just because it ends on President Obama's speech about when we assassinated Osama bin Laden. Okay. And there's just something about it. The way it was done and how everything was kind of under wraps and whatever, and it's it's just it's pretty chaotic. But something about just that speech. Um, I don't want to get political on here, but let's. I'm a centrist, to be fair. Um, most people kind of are, but they don't realize it. But set the point. Um, but I'm not too keen on Obama. But again, that's not to be discussed here, honestly. But just that speech in general, just spoke to me because I remember being up at 11 some odd when it happened and actually watching it live on YouTube. And I just, it, I don't know, it just struck a ner- uh, struck a chord, I should say, you know, mm-hmm. and it just, I don't know, like I get, I'm getting, starting to get goosebumps. It's, it's a really, it's a really <laughs> good episode. Um, a lot of the season two stuff is pretty, pretty solid too. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Or that you can go with the first episode. Honestly, the first eight minutes are phenomenal. Like honestly, just if if you're not sure, if you're split on the newsroom, watch the first eight minutes. If you don't get into it then, then it's definitely not for you. Hmm. Let's put it that way. A lot of times the shows, I always watch at least the first two. Mm-hmm. And then I decide whether or not I'll continue watching it. Because the first one, I always give a leeway. You know, it's it's the pilot. They're just introducing yeah. the plot. They're introducing the characters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's never, it never really speaks to what a show truly is. Absolutely. But, but it's the second episode where you start to see where it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And at that point, that's when I judge whether or not I'll continue watching it. Honestly, that, like I said, within those eight minutes, you know. It's like you just know. Okay. Like, yeah. Like, I'll even show it to you later if you want. <laughs> Trust me. It's worth it. It's freaking worth it. Okay. So. Uh, probably. I'll take you up on that offer. All right. Maybe not tonight, but another night. No, he's going to do it tonight. Against his will. <laughs> McAvoy. What? Well, this... You're at school? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to say... Stuff. Things. No, not Walking Dead. Um, no, Walking Dead's a good one. I don't like... I can't advocate I... for it. I stuck through. I stuck through two seasons on that show. Yeah, I'm the same way. And I just. I think. I, I guess this is kind of spoiler alert. I mean, if you if you if you're not a fan of the show, you don't care. And if you are a fan, that you already know about this. I just think they've been focusing on the governor and the prison way too long. They're I still on that. I don't know. I'm not caught up. Okay. But at least I know in season three they are. And I just I want it to end so like, badly. They spent so much of season two on it. Season two. It was one of the... That that was definitely too slow of a build-up, I think, in season two. Not going to really say specifics, but just I'll say that in general. Um, But yeah, just... It was kind of worth it in season two. And I found out a lot of stuff that, uh, that happened in season three. But even then, I'm still like, eh... Yeah, see, the only episode I like of, of season two that I, I really liked when I watched it, um, that gave me that, that thrill of season one, was the episode where he meets, um, I can't remember his name, but his friend, the guy he first finds after he wakes up, after Rick wakes up, um, sorry, really, spoilers if you haven't seen it, season two, um, but he finds him in the old building, and he's going crazy, 
Do you remember him? He lost the, the son. I don't actually. I think that was season three. No, was it? I think so because I don't remember that. I thought it was season two. Nah. You know what? I don't remember. Are they on season four right now? Yeah. Oh, then maybe I did watch season three. Yeah. Parks. That that sounds like season three to me. Well, sorry for spoiling it for you. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't spoil it for me. I'll put the spoiler up, so don't worry, guys. Yeah. Again, comics are a lot more... Well, they release every month, but it the, the comics... I don't know. It, much better written. They don't they don't focus on, on stuff like the prison and the governor. Play the game, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, play the game. Trust me. Especially season two. Oh my god, you have no idea, dude. You really don't, because you haven't well, played it. I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what other shows you want to throw out there? Um, what else? Uh, Scrubs. I just want to say the name because Scrubs. I don't. I don't know. It was, it was decent. I. I, I look up to that show as in a comedic standpoint. Right. There's a lot of I try I try I tend to find myself doing really corny things with my with my comedy. I tend to be mm-hmm. it tends to be a lot like Scrubs was comedy wise. So personally I, I saw a lot of, of my type of humor and my type of of ways of looking at things in Scrubs, you know, from the comedy to the, the serious and it just spoke to me deeply. You yeah. professed its love to me. Yeah. I, I, I've been trying to refrain from saying this. So can you say it for me? <laughs> One of you? I don't I don't know. No. I don't know what you're nope. Okay. I refuse. Starts with an H. That's all I'm gonna say. Hockey? What? Oh, uh, I'm trying to recall. Um, um, he's trying to. Rec- I, I I know what he's doing. He's trying to recall other is shows. It, is it how it's made? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, is it? Is it Hell's Kitchen? No, it, it, I think it might be Hostages. That's what it might be. Uh, oh, right, right. Um, no, Hot no, Rod, no. the Legos TV show. No. Um, no, not Hot Rod the movie either. Okay, well, Hot Rod the movie is fantastic. I, the, the, we, were, we had this shows, discussion. We had shows, this discussion. Shows. Um, later. We, we did. Harry Potter? Not a TV. Uh, is it a TV show at this no, point? No. A I'm surprised it's not. To How? Be he, I Met Your Mother is what he's referring to. Yes. Yeah. I really wasn't yeah. going to go there, ever. I just didn't want to get him started, but it's already on his mind. It's there. Let it out. It's, it's never just, not there. I'm, it really isn't. I... I I think over the last few podcasts it's come out a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I will refrain, but just if you haven't checked it out, just do yourself a favor. It's 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 it's, it's solidly made. They're really hitting their stride in the early seasons, trying to figure out what they wanted to become, and once they figured out what worked, trust me, the re- the rest, as they say, is history. I think what How I Met Your Mother does well is the fact that it's not. It's not the greatest show out there, Mm-mm. but it's consistent. Yeah. That is the greatest thing about that show is mm-hmm. it's, it's every episode is consistent. There really is no high and low point with that show. It's just straight Honestly, across no. the board. No. Yes. There's way too many fucking seasons. <laughs> way too many seasons. It's a long ass story. I just want to know. I just want to know who the mother is. You clearly haven't seen season nine. <laughs> Did they reveal it? Just saying. Yeah, they do. Do they really? Season 8 finale, you see her face for the first time. All I remember is the yellow umbrella. That was episode 100. By okay. the way. Pro tip. Oh, God. Same same episode as Nothing Suits Me Like a Suit. Yeah, well, I guess. Okay, but... Amazing. But they Just do... Neil Patrick Harris in general. If you don't love Neil Patrick Harris by now, he's phenomenal at everything he does. Mm, yeah. I would probably go gay for him. Wow. You kind of have to. Exactly. <laughs> That's the point. But 
Well, any situation. I mean, you could get a sex change, but that wouldn't work as effectively. No. No, I mean, he is homosexual after all. He, he's happily married, too, anyway. Mm-hmm. And has kids, but... Well, still. yeah, well, yeah, it, it, just a consistent... But yeah. still, you know, if he was in a room, I was in a room. That's all I'm saying. Okay. He's, like, one of, like, the few exceptions. I don't think I'm pretty heterosexual. I'll be feminine in my ways, but that's a different point. That's a different story. I guess we'll find out later tonight. Whoa. I'm just kidding. I'm going to be in bed. <laughs> just just remember, dur- never make eye contact during a devil's three-way. <laughs> as long as as long as the bones true story. don't touch, it's not gay. That's the truth. So what I've heard. So, talking about the film industry. Absolutely. <laughs> that, I thought that's what we're talking about right now. Not the adult film industry. That that's uh, different. That's a different side. Sorry, guys. That that's the majority of the internet. Ninety-seven <laughs> percent was it at this point? I think it was that high. Yeah, it was. It was, it was that it's, high. It's at one getting point. there. No, it was. It was definitely that high at one point. It was like back in I think two thousand six, whatever. But anyway, yeah. not that. Not that I know these things. No, I. I you know. I guess. I guess I. I'm really partial to the film industry. I. It's. It's my. <laughs> My, it's it's what I'm interested in, you know. I feel you. Uh, I feel you. You know, I I, I it, it's quite a process. I'll tell you that. Um, what we do here is so different. It's, I mean, if you've never been on a film set, it's, it's 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 weird. Um. It's I guess I guess how I would put it is it's like being at Disneyland. You know? When you go to Disneyland, you feel like you're in an entire new country. Right? I don't know if I, th- I mean that's what I feel. I go to Disneyland and I feel like I'm an entire new Some of those employees are a little too happy, but that's beside the point. Well you 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 you've been There's a different there's a different like uh, uh atmosphere. Definitely. Yes. It's even a different aroma and, too. And and on weird. a film set, it's kinda yeah. like that. You know, you feel like um I don't know. You're in a different place because nothing feels real at that point because you you see you see the magic, you see right. that magic, you know, it's quite magical, and you're constantly doing that magic ten to twenty times. <laughs> I mean, I definitely understand from the opposite side, not being an actor but being more behind the scenes. God, I have so much just respect for what they do. I mean. It's it's funny when you look at the credits and like you see all these like special effects and you know all these things and I and I, I guess from the outside looking in one may think oh dude it takes so many people to edit that and it's like really there's only like maybe two actual editors that put everything together for like movies but the special effects and everything else that's done especially in post and even on set is it's crazy oh absolutely it's there's so, crazy. Like, there's so it's, many positions it's stuff you don't even realize. Absolutely. You know. there, there's a lot. There's there's so many job titles. There's so many people who don't even get credited. Just think about the thousands of people in a movie like The Avengers that worked on that set that don't get credited in the film. All the extras. Yeah. You know? There's 125 or $135. Thousands of them. Yeah. One cool thing I found out about uh, Iron Man 3, they brought up Avengers kind of indirect sequel uh a few scenes were actually filmed with the dslr hmm. uh, i believe it was a i want to say that i didn't find out specifics but if you look in the credits and that's where i noticed it they had canon and they had cinestyle hmm. um and then they also had canon dslrs i noticed so i'm assuming they were using the uh, 5d 5d mark 3 um but that's kind of cool the fact that you some of those shots in a professional movie we're done on a DSLR, something that I have, you know, and you'll be surprised, especially if you're a photo enthusiast, a lot of you already have, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy just to think about and wrap your mind around, you know? Yeah. And I don't know if you want to mention anything about it, but, um, we're working on a special project. Yeah. So you're definitely going to know what that post is like. <laughs> I, 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 I have, I have, I have a pretty solid understanding already. Yeah. I've, you know, I've done, I've done a little bit of it. I've I've worked on it. Um, I've done some post. I've done some pre. 
it's uh, I've it's, done a lot of like prep work and such. The really first and only one I really actually have officially done and published was BMX Adventures with uh, Brosive. Yeah, this with, one's uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. But yes, this is um, actually going to be because with that one it yeah. was you know no oh, yeah that that shots. was more just action shots and yeah, yeah it's a very one, very different but this I one is know. a lot more yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a lot different. Yeah, I have um, done stuff like that before. Just, okay, I haven't published them or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but special project. Um, so we it's we pretty both are actually working on something. Yeah, I'm working on more of a short film. He's working on more of a short. Short, short, a short, short. And hopefully, I don't more do things sh- short. Speaking of short shorts, Seriously, uh, we're both wearing shorts today. <laughs> short shorts. No, and hopefully more shorts if if this one catches on. I, I mean, more oh, we're talking about film. You know, <laughs> bull, bull, bull. Okay. To be honest okay. with you, because shorts are quite comfy. Oh, absolutely. I you wish know. I was wearing my comfy shorts today too. Oh, uh, yeah. Like yeah. I just threw on a polo and did shorts. On. <laughs> I'm not even wearing shoes, bro. I'm wearing shoes. Well, because he came from somewhere. Yeah. You don't want to smell I, my socks. That's why. That too. Yeah. I feel you. I'm trying to hide it, but. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's what I have to say about the film industry. Yeah, like I said, fun stuff. Really, it's a lot of stuff we want to do. Um, also, um, sort of not really. It, it definitely that that's the whole reason why I kind of did the Brosif Studios thing because I didn't want to just be gaming. An audible anomaly. I wanted to branch out and make some more actual videos like that. Um, just some other cool stuff. Like uh, something that we're planning on is uh, I've really kept, not really kept it a secret, but I'm building a custom joystick for fighting games um, with the help of Kevin too, which I have to really thank him for because he has the tools and know how. So uh, trust me, that, that's a big thing. You, you might have an idea of how grateful I am. But yeah, um, but yeah. So I was thinking of trying to film the process because honestly, I've yet to really see anything on there with this specific PCB that I'm going with. I saw one, but good God, I think it was terrible, terribly made. There's no detailed thing. I mean, it, it's super simple and super basic, which is what I really do love. But simple things um, that we plan to do, you know, I haven't seen really anyone actually cover it, especially on YouTube. You know, so I yeah. feel that's gonna gain some traction and. Um, also coming up with a special goodie for it. I'm not going to say what that is, but uh, there's something complementing that joystick as well that I think is going to be pretty badass. If I do say so myself. Um, so I said we're also going to be working on that um, within the next few months. Uh, or next month, not even. It's probably going to be done in like two weeks. We'll probably get <laughs> that up after uh, the next bit we want to talk about. Street yeah. Fighter Tournament. Uh, I've had one before. I uh, don't necessarily want to say it was... Last year, I think it was late, uh, late 2012. Um, but what we're pretty much doing is we're doing a simmed Street Fighter tournament. So all you got to do is sign up on this thread uh, that we have posted up. Tell us what your favorite fighter is. Doesn't even have to be real. Doesn't even have to be from Street Fighter. Can be from anything. Again, you can make it. You can say it yourself. You know, you go fisticuffs every night. I don't know. Maybe you're in <laughs> Fight Club. You're not telling us about it because you shouldn't. We don't know. Um, but yeah, so you pretty much post that and you're entered in. Uh, the grand prize is going to win a copy of Batman Arkham Origins on PC. Free. Um, also, if you sign up before Friday, you're entered in for a separate raffle. Just for signing up an early signing incentive for another copy. And if you enter in general, right after the entire tournament, we'll be raffling off yet another copy. So that's three copies we're giving away. We already gave away a strike vector beta key. Nice. Which was pretty cool, but yeah. So, again, pretty simple. You can win yourself a copy of Arkham Origins. All you gotta do is, if you don't have an account on the community we're doing, a game on, a streaming community I'm a part of, make an account. It's free. Pretty basic. Pretty simple. And post to that thread your favorite fighter. And you're in. Simple as that. We got 16 peeps in already. Um, I'm doing a community show for the community on... Saturday, so I'll most likely bring that up then as well. So that should really bring us in a lot. And then, yeah, got some publicity out there as well um, that we're working on, spreading nice. the word. So, yeah, like I said, that's going to be on the 23rd for the actual event. And we're actually going to have an entire event. These guys, he's already here, but we're going to have Kevin here. Um, 
and we're gonna get a few of our buddies or friends who are into Street Fighter. We're gonna start rotating on commentary and such, and so it's gonna be fun, vivacious atmosphere. Um, really, mostly a viewing party, watching AI play AI. Because again, you don't even have to do anything. You just have to sign up. It's AI versus AI. We handle the 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 behind the scenes business, and you just enjoy and watch. It's pretty hectic. Some some of those guys are brutal as crap, dude. I was watching. Uh, I forget who it was. It was Cam- it was Cammy versus Cammy. Went double perfect. I was like, what? Like, it was just it was f- crazy, crazy. But yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's what we got going on. Um, I'll probably be doing um, character selection because you don't pick your character. We pick it for you. So there's 39 characters. 25 of you are going to be random, which is kind of cool. Uh, last year, we only did 40 people. This year, we're doing 64. Double elimination as well. So that thing's going to be long. So because of that, we're doing first rounds on the Friday before the 21st. Um, so you can check that out then as well. But yeah, then we'll also have... Uh, I'll be showing the... Um, stick that we have finished up and then probably after um instead of podcast i'd probably just throw that up uh on the youtube okay hopefully i'll have that edited in time um but yeah that should be a pretty interesting series how to got on making a custom arcade stick so yeah that's all i really got don't know if you guys have anything to add not to that not to that excited it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Like, Absolutely. So we, I already got quite a few peeps. It's a potluck based thing, so okay, easier to get people fed that way. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's really gonna be a little bit more chillax than uh, than when we do Titanfall. That one's gonna be a lot more serious. And oh yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have the unboxing of collectors editions, and it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. So this is really what we're trying to practice for. So yeah, um, I guess with that we can move on. Yeah. To our, our favorites. Yeah. So uh, this week we have our favorite piece of hardware. No, I don't mean that. For you gents out there. <laughs> All right. So I don't know who wants to go first. I guess I'll go first. I tend to. Um, you know what? I was thinking about it. And a lot of the times, a lot of my favorite tech pieces or hardware tend to be things that kind of just blow my mind. You know? And one of those things is actually, remember that replay, <laughs> the uh, Logitech C920. It is a camera. Yeah, it's the one we're actually filming on. It's a webcam, but it films and and streams in 1080p. It does both. And, and, and I was I, I don't know. It was something that I didn't think I'd ever see on the market for at least a little bit longer and it just to see it there for normally going for ninety nine dollars i just, i don't know i was amazed no. i just i didn't, it didn't hit me until recently either it was like two weeks ago that i really thought about it and i was like wow this impresses me you haven't even covered the entirety of why it's impressive well see i would but i know i'd botch it and okay. that's why i wanted you to do it because i okay. knew you would so the the clever trick on how this gets 1080p and not take up resources on your machine, it has H.264 encoding built in. It has a hardware encoder in there, so it relieves the pre- um, the usage, CPU usage, and it does it ex- uh, all within the camera, at least most of it within the camera. So you can have the shittiest laptop in the world. You can have an Arial Atom. I just I said an Atom, sorry. I'm thinking of the car. <laughs> uh, Top Gear just started this week, which I forgot to mention under TV shows. So that's why I kind of, you know, Top Gear's on my mind. But the Atom processor, and you can still run this thing probably decently and record it in 1080p. Streaming it at 1080p is a little bit more challenging, especially on Skype specifically. You need like an crazy upload. I think it was like 7 to 8 megabit per second upload. But still. Which not a lot of people have. But still. Fantastic. Flawless. You, you see quality. And, and the mic quality is not that bad either. It really isn't, actually. Just don't yell, because then you sound like you're in a water tank. <laughs> Trust me. And luckily, I actually got my hands on one of them Trust recently. The shark wait, tank. Wait, wait, wait. Trust you as in, you know what it sounds like to be in a water tank? Yeah. You've recorded this? Oh, me? Yeah. No, no I no, said... No. Oh, wait, Trust what? me? You said oh. it sounds like you're in a water tank? Trust me. You know what oh. that sounds like? I-, I actually do. Don't judge me. Okay. Just making sure. 
Don't judge me. I believe you. Let's get an official ruling. Judge? Judge? No. No. Not all my jokes play out. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds more echoey and spacey and just distorted, but yeah, it's beside the point. Um, I guess I'll go next since we're here. I'd probably have to say my uh, Fanatec CSR wheel, my racing wheel. I, as you said, you love things that blow your mind. Just the feeling through that, all the tech behind it, the the three belt driven systems that work the force feedback. Two are for vibration, one's for force feedback. The fact that it's belt driven instead of gear driven like its main contender, the Logitech G27, which has gears, they're shaped in such a way where they're not as geary feeling. But this is just so much smoother, and and the biggest difference is it's so much quieter. Um, and yeah, it just it's a beautiful piece. And the th- crazy thing is that that's like their entry level thing. Uh, they still have one. They have two above it. One of them, which I really kind it it it's four hundred and fifty bucks. I want to say for just the wheel alone. Really expensive, but the cool thing is you can swap out the rims. And you can buy uh, attachment rims. And one specific one they have is a Formula One style rim. Hmm. Which I really want, but maybe later. But yeah, that, that's honestly one of my favorite pieces of tech. It's just, I use that thing so damn often. If I'm playing Euro Truck, if I'm playing a set of Corsa, because I've been doing that a lot lately. Just something about the uh, Formula Abarth car. Just, man, it's so awesome to drive. If you have a set of Corsa, you know what I'm talking about. It's just epic to drive. <laughs> really is. It's it's so easy, but it's also so easy to get it wrong, you know. <laughs> but it's just, it's something about it that just, it works and it's beautiful, you know. Just the game in general is pretty solidly built. It has its moments, <laughs> as I showed these guys earlier. I live streamed it and I got sucked into the barrier and flung out like I was in a cannon. But eh, it was fun. <laughs> we all had a good laugh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's my favorite piece of hardware. I was going to go with microphones, but, or mixer even, because it's kind of nice just to have on, but yeah, that's what yeah. I go with, so it's yours. Okay. I've had kind of a theme going since we started this. My favorite piece of hardware, very generally, 3D printers. You can do just about anything with them. That's a damn good choice. Yeah. I mean, there is really anything. Yeah. There was one that was kickstarted that was... I think sub five hundred dollars. Yeah, but it was bad. Was it bad? Low I, resolution, I small build area. Um, it had same as the replicator too. For build size, uh, or DPI not resolution. It had same DPI. The one I was looking at, at least, I'm not sure if it was the same one. Might Definitely not sub five hundred then. Uh, I don't know. I, I was looking at one earlier, but that was just me. But still, mm-hmm. something we definitely want to get our hands on. This is cool. Yeah. I keep an eye on the Kickstarter ones. Okay. And typically, if they're under $1,000, it's relatively very low resolution. Okay. I, uh, I don't know. Replicator is extremely high resolution, though. Okay. Which is why. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. 3D printers are pretty cool. <laughs> In general, they're cool, yeah. yeah. Making things out of plastic filament. Don't fucking start it. <laughs> I mean, you can also go with sugar, pasta... Or metal. It's very, very true. Not limited to plastic. No, it was, it was limited. I just like things made out of plastic filament. Again, don't start me. Or him, specifically. I'm not trying to start anyone. I'm just I'm just stating. Just, just stating just, untrue things. Just stating that I like things made out of plastic filament. Through a 3D mm-hmm. printer. Yeah. So, moving on. <laughs> Back I've, to the world of facts. Back to the world of facts. Who wants to I'm go with wrong. their advice? I'm not wrong. I'll go last. You go last. No, no, no. You, 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 you don't go last this time. I'll go second. Okay, I'll go last this time. I guess I'll go because you're prepared, pretty much. I am prepared. That is why. So, let me grab my book. True story. Today, we will be reading from the Bro Code. Today I give you Article 16. A bro shall be able to, at any time, to recite the following reigning champions. Super Bowl, 
World Series, and Playmate of the Year. What are they? Well, currently... Crow, you should know. Exactly. <laughs> you should know. Seattle Seahawks. The or Boston something. Red Hawks. Nope. Red Sox. There you go. And of course, the ever lovely Raquel. Last name. <laughs> the ever lovely Raquel. Mrs. Raquel. Mrs. <laughs> Miss Raquel, maybe. Okay, okay. Let me help out a bro here. Please Raquel do. Pomplin. Pomplin. There? Yes. See, Kevin's a true bro. Yep, he only knows that because I, I sent it to him. That's what you think. Now, Kevin always don't, does. Don't make me pull up the log. <laughs> I know you sent it to me. Do you think that's the only... <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's a real bro. He knows exactly. I, I knew. I just had to make sure it was Pomplin and not... Um, What's her name? I forget her name. I just she was the playmate of the year, so I don't really care, you know? I just couldn't remember the last name. That's all. I got the first name, though. Yeah. So. On anyway. a first name basis, that's all you need to know. Sure. Like your like your sure. like your first name is Brosif, but the second name is It's gaming. It's all a blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's studios, come on. It's studio it's definitely studios. <laughs> yeah. Change. My middle name is Audible. Last name <laughs> Anomaly. <laughs> I wonder if it would ever okay. change her. Anyway, moving on. By demand, I guess I'll go second. <laughs> I'd rather finish on this. This is good advice, I tell you. <laughs> Guarantee you mine's better. Huh? Guarantee you mine's better, but go on. No, definitely not. This is this is top notch stuff. I require a game of rock, paper, scissors. Not happening. Go on. No. I tried. Um, <laughs> it was really bad art style. <laughs> that was restricted RPS. <laughs> That's literally the name of the game, restricted RPS. I know. Um but I have discovered that um, some time ago, a Japanese TV show had some people doing some research on something very good. Very good stuff indeed. Solving all the first world problems of this nature. But I'm sure you've had a hamburger. And you've taken a large bite into it, and things have fallen out. Yes? Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would you need to do that? These people have found the solution. Okay. Yes. Inform us, please. So they had three different experts on this. They had 3D models. They had dental advice on how to eat a hamburger. And they've settled on evenly spacing three fingers from each hand on the top and thumb and pinky on the bottom. So you want your fingers to be equidistant from each other and the finger closest to your mouth to be equidistant from your mouth, or the same distance um, as the finger distance. And using this method stabilizes the burger in such a way that the force is all blown towards the mouth, preventing spillage. Or you can just wrap it in paper. Not yeah, but then that. you have to move the paper, and that's lame. I believe my life has just been changed. I can promise you I'm going to go home and do this. So they tested this on the TV show. They had a couple of people eat a hamburger using this style. Dropped nothing. Clean plates. The entire time? Mm-hmm. What? We now need you, to eat burgers on podcast. Revolutionary. Yeah. Damn. You really should have ended on that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so much for guarantee that yours would be better. <laughs> It was until I knew what it meant, but anyway. Well, you, you gotta trust me on these things, man. You gotta trust me. All right. That's the point. Let's hear your lovely advice. My lovely advice. My tech advice for this week. Games. You should play them. That is all. Totally not that badass as burger holding, but... Mm. No? It's okay. It's still very good. Trend. I like the advice. Yeah. So, uh... Bad time for a slow clap. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even slow clap. It's kind of sad. But anyway. At least I did. At least someone did for <laughs> you. 
Here's that. So yeah, that's kind of all we got, really. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know the ways to contact us. Facebook, mm-hmm. Twitter, email, YouTube comments. Instagram. <laughs> you won't Google find Plus. us there because we're not there. And Google+. Plus. I, I found forgetting. out. I actually did do the site. Well, good. Like, Glad. day one. I didn't realize I had. <laughs> <laughs> Until I finally checked that, like, two <laughs> weeks ago. Oh, hey, Google+. Plus. It is done. You can also kind of find us on Twitch. Kind of sort of. You, you can find elements of us on Twitch. Yes. Not me. Definitely. There was that one time. Well, my voice. Of course. Well, not really me, though. Not, 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 not his beauty. Not his beauty. Not this fantastic image. Ah. Steam. Just coming up. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that... Lovely news. Not really news, but... Well... We've I've known, known. I've known. Oh, we've known. We've all known. I'm Brosif. I'm Davey. And I'm Kevin. See ya. Eddie Irvine cheated death by apparently fighting off a shark with a spear. However, I'm not 100% positive of the validity of this because it was reported by The Sun, who, as we know, especially here on podcast, they did some research and they're unsure whether or not the shark had any cybernetic implants from Seraph Industries. So we don't know. They're still looking into it. (laughs) Just going to leave that one there for a bit.